in this video I'm going to talk about the grid icon boxes element now if you want to preview them just go to elements grid icon boxes now this element is um, is complex it's uh, has a lot of styles and a lot of uh, customization options we instead of having I don't know 10 elements uh, 10 different elements with the same code we choose to have the same element but with uh, different uh, options so as you can see we have uh, some hovered boxes here which highlight the icon on hover we have this centered uh, three column uh, boxes with um, a border at the center and a border separating on uh, vertically as you can see in this example no hover is specified For in this example we have four columns and the zooming option here we have five columns with a hover and a perspective lifting effect which adds a shadow to the back and this one right here which adds a nice a gradient um, gradient uh, effect uh, fading effect with uh, a shadow on the back the icon is the first one and uh, the colors are changing too so let's uh, let's edit this page with a page builder and like I said the element is a bit complex so there are a lot of uh, options as you can see options here options here here and here that's because the element is uh, is powerful now in case you're wondering uh, why this is uh, fully stretched and this is not well in this section this uh, this section has uh, full width specified so basically the container is a fluid and stretched uh, full uh, width you can see the column here also have as 12 but it's stretched onto the whole website while here the column is still 12 but uh, normally uh, centered into the container great so now looking at the options you can uh, specify the height of the boxes the option is live like I said if you see this uh, live badge just play with the uh, values you can specify the icon sizes now like I said before the icons are uh, retina ready and uh, vectorial because they're based on the on the font on a, uh, yeah on a on a font then we have uh, the option of um, specifying how many uh, icons should it display per row so you can have up to five if I choose five as you can see this one is a northern and remains here alone so of course it's not okay to have just one like this but uh, because there's six I'm going to of course leave it three good so um, there's a markup change into the uh, we would have loved if we could have uh, changed the uh, had all these uh, these options um, live but unfortunately there's also some markup change and it's quite uh, difficult again we have uh, the grid style you can have simple no borders as you can see no borders inside we can have the 
fully bordered. Everything has a border here. We have the uh, borders inside only. If you have a look, you can see no borders are added here at the top or at the bottom. Basically looks like this. No borders at the top or at the bottom left uh, left or, or uh, right <coughs> and the last one uh, gradient borders uh, which only has uh, the uh, scale hover effect as you can see the now of course you have to match the background in this this section has this uh, a light gray um, color background color so this is the now for the sake of this uh, I'm going to try to just as you can see I've matched the white color and it looks nice with this uh, gradient uh, effect so then now that I've explained about the grid style, uh, let's jump on to the hover style. Now by default, uh, shadow under the box is uh, enabled, as you know, this one. And if I select scale the box, it will zoom, as you can see the box so you can also specify whether you want the title to be first it was enabled now it's disabled so basically the icon is first now moving forward uh, here you can uh, change the icon boxes each one in particular for example, this one is the well-documented uh, uh, icon box, and you can specify the title, the description, a link, of course, if you want a link, the icon type, perhaps you want uh, just a simple PNG image or GIF or whatever, or perhaps you want a font, a font icon, a glyph actually and you can select anything uh, you you want so I'm going to save this and as you can see the icon has changed here in case you uh, don't know how to uh, add new icons to this uh, to this box just go to Kalias options and go to it go to advanced options and here you have the icon font uploader as you can see we already have one uh, here now uh, if you want to look uh, we I already made the video about this so you can uh, search the uh, font uh, font upload icon font uploader uh, video good so I'm going to close this you can move them around you can uh, clone them you can uh, uh, delete them of course and that's about it then moving forward we have the background color you can specify whatever you want the option is live then we have the icon color which um, of course is only available for the uh, icon font not for the uh, images and we can also have the hover color I'm going to say this weird uh, <laughs> green and then we have the title settings and description settings now you can change the uh, colors you can change the font 
of the uh, the font family you can change the font size line height uh, font weight and the font uh, style so all these options in my opinion uh, will leave you basically with uh, all the power you need to create something awesome and to uh, showcase your features or um, yeah features the better um, and it's in my opinion a very powerful uh, element if you want uh, even more control and you only want the inside the interior of an uh, icon box we already have the icon box uh, element which also provides a great control over the the icon boxes now this is a grid this is a as you can see they are all aligned on rows so that's about it with this uh, this uh, element so uh, thanks for watching and see you in the next one bye